Adriana in Michigan, you're on the Ben Shapiro Show. Go for it, Adriana. Hello? Hello? Hi, you're on the air. Go for it. I can hear you. you. Um, Mr. Shapiro, um, I'm a fan and appreciate your work. I have a question regarding to abortion. My my question is regarding to abortion. um, I am pro-life, and I know you are pro-life as well. And most pro-lifers believe and agree with the pro-choice side that abortion should be performed for the health of the mother. Because we believe this, should we also stand for all pregnant teenagers to have the ability to have abortion? Well, not all pregnant teenagers are going to be endangered by the pregnancy. So typically, Republicans don't say, and conservatives, pro-life people, they won't say for the health of the mother because the health of the mother can constitute anything up to and including the pregnancy itself, right? You'll see the Democrats and, and pro-choicers maintain that pregnancy itself is more dangerous than, than abortion. They'll say you're actually safer aborting the baby than you are having the baby. So the health of the mother could theoretically encompass everything, right? It could encompass the pregnancy itself. So what they typically say is the life of the mother. And usually in this case, you're talking about people who are very often pre-teenagers, you're talking about like a 10, 11, 12-year-old girl who's not physically capable of bearing a child term without endangering her life. If you're talking about a 17-year-old girl who gets pregnant, no, no, no pro-lifer is going to be in favor of terminating the, the baby on the basis that it may endanger the life of the mother. Unless there's actual medical evidence, it's going to endanger the life of the mother, Adriana. Yes, sir. Can I tell you something? I really appreciate the call. Okay, go for it. Oh, um, studies have shown, according to the World Health Organization, mothers between the ages of 10 to 19 are at higher risk of eclampsia, deadly seizures that occur during pregnancy. And I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this right, but puerperal and endomeritis, uterine infections, and dangerous rates of high blood pressure. Yes, that's the, I mean, that, that's correct. The younger, very, very young women young or young teenagers, pre-girls, are, are at higher risk in pregnancy than than women who are in their 20s, for example. The question is whether this specific pregnancy endangers the life of the mother. If the answer is yes, if this specific pregnancy endangers the life of the mother and you have to terminate in order to preserve the life of the mother, pro-lifers are in favor of the termination because that's the doctrine of double effect. They're trying to save the life of the mother in order to preserve her. And if that has to encompass the termination of the baby, the killing of the baby, then they'll, they'll do that. Obviously, tragic situation. However, generalized risk assessment is never going to be the the criteria that is used by pro-lifers in order to determine whether this specific pregnancy justifies an abortion. Adriana, really appreciate the call. 